And okay. not get in front. So everything happens from here. Mm -hmm. You can look down. Yeah. And yeah. Right now, you just sometimes you stop her to praise her and you just walk. And so you look. So I'm going to say, hey, let's go this way. Oh, oh, oh. And then I touched her. That was because it's not. I know. Now, what had just happened there? Why did she do that? No, because I, I accidentally, when I moved, got to <laughs> Good girl, my. Yeah, you can go into the corner. Oh. Hey. That is too crazy. Put me up. Hmm? But we have to, we're gonna have to talk about this script. No. We're gonna have to talk about this script. You see, if you accidentally get the whip behind and touch her, she will freak. But this horse is just telling a story about that she used to be beaten with a whip. So she gets so afraid of the whip. And I have to help her get through that so she can trust people again because she gets a much better life when she trusts good girl. How about that? Good girl. Good girl, my friend. Hi. That was very nice. That was very nice. Yeah. Let's go again. Stand. Yes. Because in the next session today, we're going to work a little tip for showing you that riding. You know what riding can be? It can be without pain. It can be without a pain. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Yes. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. I know. Yes, you want to go? Yes, I know. Good girl, yes. Good friend. Yeah, I see her eyes softer, you know? See how I hold my hand and keep on putting a little chat and let go? Good girl. Then when I praise her, go down here. Praise her a lot. Now it's your turn. Start with a walk. Okay, get in there. Talk to her. Sometimes I use food if I'm dealing with bad traumas. Because that fear can take so long time to break. And either I break it today or she, this horse have a pattern of rearing. And that also has to do with this. So if I am going to help her through this one day only, I'll do whatever it takes. Yeah. Soften that all up. Yeah. So she experienced now, okay, you did all that. And it didn't hurt. So now it's a little bit difficult for her to scream and rear if I touch her again. Because she just accepted it. Especially taking a month. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't love using the tree. But sometimes it, it's what it takes. Because this is not a... I don't use treats in, a, in the hierarchy fight, the dominant, setting the leadership. But this is not that. This is to break a fear. Then I actually don't mind. 
because we need to help them, right? And the sooner, the better we can repair that trauma, remove that fear, the better it is. And then now you gotta try to do a little bit of, you gotta try to do a little bit of trot. And remember, if she leaves you, I don't think she will. But if she passes you with her body, you move away. But believe she'll stay there. Begin to run, stay by her side. Keep on asking. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, baby girl. Whoa. Hi. You want to come? Hmm. So, we walk with them all the time where I can touch you. The distance will not get farther away. I touch you all the time to make you feel comfortable. Please keep on trotting next to her. I don't even use my whip. You see? <clears throat> I know she will come and I touch her on the other jaw. And it's okay she goes down in the walk. But I keep her this close. You see? Oh. You try that. I just run next to her. I go for the walk and I just keep on asking her. Mm -hmm. Believe at one point it will come. Walk, but don't touch her with a whip. Yeah. And then go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move the whip away from her. Okay. I'm going to help you out now. Oh, good. Yes, you are. Now I'm going to do this to help you. This doesn't help her, it helps you. Uh -huh. It's for you to learn to have your hand here when you run. Mm -hmm. When you run, I don't want this hand to do like this. I okay. want this hand to do like this. Just stay up front. Mm. So I run. See, I stay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So that's what she needs just a little bit of contact. I'm using my hand, mm -hmm. but I've been doing this for 30 years. So you're going to have this because this will make it easier. If she goes, just kind of pull it off her. You know? Yeah. You can just let go of one end. Okay? Mm -hmm. You try. Walk, walk, walk. Yeah. It's a lot of information. And, and as soon as it goes too fast or something, you just try to stop her, okay? So now you try to go. Nice and slow. Keep on going. And yeah, 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 keep on. Good. Do them all. She will come. Yeah, that's how we do. This is right. Make it be loose. The, lead, the line around the neck. Yeah, go again. Come. Come on. Come on. And be loose. Make it be loose. Be loose. Yeah, yeah, you're doing it. You are doing it. So great. Look at that. Get that feeling all the way into your bone. Your horse is running with you in a slow pace. Yeah. And she has her head down and she has soft eyes. And she's loving it. There's no pressure. And you're praising her, giving her love. Good girl, my friend. Good girl, my friend. Come. She has a lot of trauma for her training and her riding, and she has a pattern of rearing up high. So right now, I'm removing that trying to remove it by she's been in here one time before today and in that session I got it on her back completely free got her to accept that after working the groundwork and getting her to follow me so now I'm trying to move on from that and saying riding can be nice make a choose it right make it be calm because she never gets in the in the situation where she needs to rear up high 
to communicate fear and frustration and anxiety because she was so forced. They forced her so much that she had scarred from it and they had to ride her with a hard bed and a very short rain all the time. Good girl. And I bet you nobody ever dared riding this horse like this. So right now I'm just telling her, this can be riding too, but no force, no pain. Only a tiny rope to guide you the way. So I'm giving her all this trust. Good girl. Can you back up one step? Good girl. She's licking and chewing. Yeah. But she's thinking about it. Let's go. Yeah, she's got one here. Claire, you have to notice that she has her head down so much. Look. So this horse is a horse that's always in defense, having her head up high. What I'm seeing now is that she, she's having her head down. When I ride. Good girl. Yeah. Hey, you're doing it. Good girl. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right? Good, let's go get a treat. Because you did such a great job, I gotta give you a treat, all right? So this is my bridle, my design, this is my prototype. I just feel how soft it is. Everywhere that touches the horse is so soft. Yeah. So soft. Mm -hmm. So you feel this? I'm gonna put it up high in the nose. Mm -hmm. Could you hold it? Mm -hmm. Hold it. So and and but they will feel it. You see? Oh yeah. So I would never hold hold on to it. I would never communicate with a horse like this because yeah. I would lose that, but it would always come from loose to this or this. Okay. Or I can do much more. Then they will stop, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thing in your mouth. So she's never been ridden bitless before, right? No, not that I know. Of. Not what about without a saddle? Mm -hmm. What about without a saddle, like bareback? I don't know. In Europe, before we got her, I don't know. Before I got her, I've had her a year and a half. But you never sat on her with no saddle. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, my friend. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. You are amazing. Good girl, my friend. Good girl. Good girl, my friend. Yes. 
I think she's fine. Let's go one step at a time, man. Let me sit on her, then I'll see if we walk. I don't think I'll trot. Everything but is good. If I go over there, that will be... She does kind of see what she did there with the groaning. Yeah. And the... Yeah. Every time we get on, I get on to like, Lisa's... Yeah. So much. I mean, yeah. for five minutes, she'll be going, mm. you know, like letting so much out. Okay. Um, Did she collect herself, use herself, look like herself without the bedless, without the bed? Yeah, that, look, that yeah. looks like her. Yeah. 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 She was so yeah. relaxed. Yeah. And that neck. So, yeah, but I don't, I, I didn't start riding until I was 45 years old. So I, and I don't, okay. never rode bareback. No. So I need to make sure. <laughs> yes. I don't know if bareback no. is. No, I know. I know. I will do my very best to look out for you. Okay. And there's no guarantees in life. Oh, no, I know. Of but course. But I tested of course. her and I did it free. I yes. did it with a good deal. And I did it now, so I have done it so safe as I possibly can. All right? And I'm going to be here with you all, every step of the way. Okay? Thanks, babe. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Okay? When you get up there, you have to get all the way up here and sit immediately, okay? Move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward. Small, small. Yes. No, no. You take the mane and okay. you lean a little bit back. Now you just sit here, okay? And um, a horse will not just rear or do something. They will tell us about it. They will tell us that they are tense. Mm -hmm. So you feel tension in her body. Right now, you just tell her you have legs. So you move your legs a little bit, but you don't move them when we ride. You just did it right now to show her, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So if you... I learned in riding school to sit up straight. Not in my school. You have to sit back on your butt. Yeah. Now we're going to take a few steps and stop. Mm -hmm. You lean back. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Good girl. I'm with you. You're so pretty. Mm. How does that feel? Good. You feel any tension? Yeah. No. Yeah. No more. No, let's try to stop it. You do it. Try to stop it. Pull the wing. Yeah. And try that. Oh, yeah. Well, so right now, I would like for you to get an, on her like this because there's so much information. Yeah. Horses do not communicate only verbal. They communicate using the whole body. And if I was going to ride a horse with a bit and a saddle, I would feel like I was both deaf and blind. Mm -hmm. I can't feel my horse. And I think for you to, to let go of this bad behavior, past trauma thing, you have to be able to feel her. Mm -hmm. you feel and you feel there's no tension. Yeah. She's so relaxed. She has, yeah. she knows there's no bit, no pain, no fear. She's not in fear of the pain to come. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, and you can float her and pray her. And you know, you know, as long as there's no tension, you're safe. The first thing that would happen before a horse would rear, a bark, a bark, a run, is that they take their head up high. And then they tense up their body. So you get all these warnings. But you never knew because you never felt it. Okay? So look at her, she's collected, mm -hmm. she's riding, and you know in every bone in your body that you're safe because you feel her head is low, then you're safe. No tension, then you're safe. And she's not having her head low because you're forcing it with a bit. No, she's choosing to listen yeah. to you in a soft, soft bridle. She is choosing and she was communicating and saying she loved this. She is. She is. She is. She's smiling the whole way home. She has soft eyes and her ears are forward. She looks so proud and happy. Huh. Now, I will tell you something. All these ladies sitting over here, right? 
they have all done clinic with me, mm -hmm. and they all changed the business. And they all realized that they couldn't control even big patients dying, and big horses with no bed. And they would all tell you that their horse works better. Listen small, stop easier. Because we take away them being in defense, because we are not using pain anymore. Yeah. Now she's communicating. She's just saying, I love it. And let, let her feel you have her back up one step. Nice and easy. And let's go again. Good girl. Because she's used to being held tight. Yeah, kind of let go, let go. No, because when you let go and don't have her that tight, she relaxes. She has been ridden with pain. Now you're riding her without pain. That is the difference. You can never get a horse to let go of anxiety as long as you keep her in pain. You have to let go of the pain, let go of the tight rein, and then she will react, relax, and then you will break the pattern. And I'm guaranteeing you that you will break the pattern. She will never rear again if you stop using the tight reins in the pain. You just have to feel you. Like you know what you're doing, you have to be confident. You are doing so great, what a good girl she is. And she has soft thighs. And you're riding her with mud through the reins. And now you try to, to do one full stop and then ride again. Just let me see. One, two, three. Yeah, praise her. Praise her. Go again. This way. Yeah. And then let me hear how difficult was she to stop. Was it difficult? Mm -hmm. No. Was it more difficult or easier than in the bed? Exactly. That's what everybody said. Okay. Isn't that something? We all use bits that will harm and give our horses pain and we do it out of fear and out of need. We think it's a need of control. But it doesn't give us control. It gives us the opposite. It gives us tense horses who's always in self-defense. They're never allowed to relax. Letting go of the chance that pain appears maybe in a second or in two seconds, right? Right? Then no bigger sense of freedom, feeling of freedom and melding together with your horse. That's like the ultimate. Ultimately, it's like so amazing. But right now, this is amazing too. You guys are melting together. Yeah, you are communicating. She looks so calm, doesn't she? Now, this horse had a habit of rearing up and exploding out of the blue. Not today. And now you start. You want to get up here? You want to get up over there? Either Are you way. good? I'm good. Either way. Gonna go over here. Hmm? Can you down here? Or I can just get off. Yeah, you can just get off here. Hmm? Yeah. She's a girl, huh? <laughs> My best advice to you is to get a bit of spider. Get one of these. Yeah, yeah begin to practice. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. I would never go back to bed with her. She's been so much. From She's now been on, too, too much. From today, she chose so much. So help her let go of never being ridden with, with pain anymore. He doesn't need it. And your trust will grow and grow and grow. Yeah.